Here we go. So guys, thank you very much for uh, jumping in. Part two of uh, Aaron's um, series here, the ultimate listing process. Um, if you missed part one, it is available. You can find it on the Freedom Team YouTube page. Uh, you can also find it on Aaron's YouTube page. I've got it on my YouTube page, multiple places where you can get it. If you're part of EXP, you can find it in the Freedom Team Workplace group. Um, if you're not with EXP, again, this is open to everybody, all agents uh, everywhere. Um, nothing to do with EXP, just you know, value add. We're doing this all the time. We do these Wednesday series, kind of taking like one topic, diving in a little deeper, um, whatever. We also have a Tuesday mastermind that we do um, every week. And again, all these are open to everybody. So um, the more interaction, the better. If you can turn on your camera, please do so. Um, watch your mics, okay? That's the one thing every week I'm sitting here. This is the hardest part of my job is sitting here trying to find the person that has a mic open with the dog barking, you know, right beside him or the kids screaming in the background or whatever and trying to keep that uh, all going here. So try and watch your mics, guys. Turn them off if you can, whatever. If you need to ask a question, you can put the questions in the chat. Um, you could also, you know, raise your hand up here. We will be, you know, there will be some interaction. I'll leave that up to Aaron, how he wants to take that. If we need to pause along the way and ask questions, we can certainly do that. So anyway, um, my buddy, Aaron, we've known each other, gosh, over 20 years now, met at a real estate conference, joined a coaching program. We were in a class together for a long time. He ended up becoming a coach with that program over time and, uh, grew his business up to the top 50 in Keller Williams around the world. Um, so had a huge business, started his own brokerage uh, in 2009, uh, moved that brokerage over here to EXP uh, back, what, five years ago? Um, is that right? April 1st. Yeah. April 1st. Yeah, there you go. Coming up on your anniversary. So or you had your anniversary. Yeah. These years getting away from us. So anyway, Aaron, go ahead and take it. Part two. Last week was awesome. Um, you know, I'm ready to take notes because uh, who couldn't use more leads and more listings and whatever. I'm ready to go. So you got some things going. So take it away, man. Appreciate you doing this. Yeah, no problem. Um, so last week, obviously, we went through the uh, whole process of how do we... What's that? <laughs> there we go. Daniel, uh, so... we don't... what's up, Daniel? Yeah, go ahead. Up? <laughs> uh, anyway, so we uh, went through the process of how to prepare for the appointment so that you win the listing every single time. Uh, now, I kind of want to section this off before that happens and then once you have the listing. So the first thing we'll get into is kind of how do we get listings? Where do they come from? What are we doing to produce business? Basically, that's the hardest thing. Anybody I talk to across Thank you. any okay. market right okay. now is um, how are you getting listings, right? So I'll go through just about everything I have here. If um, you need to interrupt me, I don't have a problem with it. The easiest way, though, is in chat. Right. And then we can answer that. And I'll pause after each of these. Um, some of these I'll go into like great detail on, some of these I'll go into in minor detail. So um, let's start. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen, hopefully. Let's see here. You see it. You're good. You got it? Yep. Okay. So you see my little run list on the side here, or maybe you can't see it. But um, so the first thing we're going to start with is um, doing a CMA a day. So this program, basically, I call it CMA a day, but actually it should be more like try to get two or three or four or 10 CMAs a day out. It just depends on how big your list is. So I start, of course, with the people that already know, like, and trust me. That would be people that have already done business with me, either that's buyer or seller, um, a sphere of influence, friends, family, neighbors. Think of all the people that already know you. If you walked into a room and they know you, you should be able to have one, their address, two, their email address, so you can uh, set this up. So basically the CMA a day is fairly a simple process. You're, I, I do a Loom video. You can use BombBomb. Bomb. Some people use BombBomb. Bomb. Some people use hey, yo, John. What was that? Go ahead. You're good. <laughs> you got to figure that out, Jeff. <laughs> Watch your mics. We're going to get this figured out so that everybody comes in muted, but that's okay. Go ahead. All right. So um, what we start with is basically we do a short video. You can see this person is actually a lead. So they came in like, I want to know what my home value is, right? Over the net home evaluation, something like that. 
what I used to do is send them a evaluation, a nice write up and a copy of the report. What they did was never contacted me back, never took any action. I didn't know if they saw it or not. Yeah. So, so now what we do is quite different. I'm going to send them a, a simple email. Um, and then I'm going to include a picture. This is the picture that's in their email. And it's much bigger. And this says, hello, Jorge, right? So um, I want them to click that. When they do, uh, they get their home evaluation. Now, the way I set this up, and it's going to run slower because everything runs slower. Hey, Jorge, is there and Ken, uh, we've been trading some emails back and forth, but um, I had some trouble locating your property because you had submitted 12 237 Fiddler's Trail, but I finally found you and found the house so I can give you kind of a, a quick overview of what your home is, your home value. And we've got a few things to show you with regards to that. Um, I do know your neighborhood actually very, very well. I used to actually live just a few blocks from you, and I lived on uh, Berrywood Trail uh, a few years ago. Um, so not very far from you at all, actually right up here in this area. So um, I know your area well, sold several homes in there. So what we do is we start off the video. Um, so I'm doing this as a loom presentation. The reason I like loom is I got this little picture of me in the corner. Um, and then what I can do in Loom that I like that, I'm not sure if Bomb, I used Bomb Bomb years and years ago, got out of it, whatever. So I went with just Looms because I can do screen recording. And then I can actually download the video so I can upload the video into YouTube. The reason I want them into YouTube is I can resell them at the end of the video. They can see other videos, things like that, subscribe to the channel. I ask them to do so during this, you know, to keep it up on the market. I do monthly reports so on and so forth, right? So this is basically Google Earth. So earth.google.com. And I type in their address. If you saw at the very beginning, um, I type in their address. So it flies in and shows them their area. It's just a way to get them interacting with the video because it is something they've probably not seen themselves because most people don't do this for their home, right? So. It's a way to get them to interact, watch the video. Obviously, I'm if I, I don't know them, I'm going to you know use their name in a targeted hello Jorge kind of thing. Anything you don't have to have a whiteboard or um, anything, just piece of paper, yellow notepad. The thing is, when you're taking this from your camera, it'll flip everything, so you do have to reverse the image, right? So that it actually comes out and it's not backwards and egorge which wouldn't work. So uh, we uh, then put them in, send them this, and then I know if they watch it based on how many views the video has. Because no one else has this, it's a custom link only sent to them. So that's the first kind of video that we're going to send. That's gonna to be to things like leads that come, um, people on another service that we utilize, which I want to go over in just a second. Um, when they ask for an updated home evaluation, we do this as well. So I'm doing anywhere between three and seven of these a day. I always try to do one of these, which is a home anniversary from somebody we've sold a home to or a friend, family, what have you. And then I'm gonna do two, three, five of these to any kind of over the net evaluations, things like that, depending on how they come in. The average time to do this Honestly, is however long the video is, so five minutes. And, and, uh, <laughs> I'd say it takes about five to seven okay. minutes of total. Other so ten to twenty minutes. So thirty-eight. You got it. So that's the first uh, CMA a day. The second one is when we send it to friends, family, people that already know, like, and trust us. This is an example of the home anniversary one um, that actually I did this morning because their home anniversary is tomorrow. So I actually did this uh, prior to getting on the call. So this is utilizing Canva and the whiteboard feature. So I can go just drop stuff in, it's free. Um, you can buy upgraded versions of Canva, but this is free. So I use the free side. So basically I take a picture of the home that they bought when they bought it. Um, put in here, happy five-year home anniversary. 
Obviously, this is the address. And then I'm going to do market stats on the property. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'll show you the actual video uh, that we did and how we utilize this as well, too. But I'm going to give them price per square foot, days on market. And then I'm going to give them a Zillow estimate, Redfin estimate. And then, Jeff, what I'll do is I'll put a document together that has links to all of these. Okay. So that people can go rewatch these if they want scripting or what I say. Sure. Honestly, I do not use a script. I basically just shoot off the cuff. That's when I'm using a script, I sound like a robot and I look like I'm reading and it just is horrible. I never mm -hmm. use a script on any video, whether it's five minutes or an hour. I just, I may have a run sheet like I have today, but that's about it. Um, and then I pulled up their market report. Now I'm only going to use pendings and closed. Obviously, I want a little bit of my branding in there. And then um, I can't, can you guys see all this? So um, their purchase price, 272.5 and the close date of when they purchased it. Because I want to show them what they've built in equity over the last five years. This is awesome nowadays because our markets, I've talked to probably any one of you, have improved immensely over five years, even over two years. Now, when we get into somebody that bought it last year or something, it might be a little tighter, you know, but I'm still going to give them real data. The thing I really like here is um, Zillow and Redfin. Now, there's a service that our MLS provides. It's called um, Remind. If you search their address, it gives you like seven different uh, auto evaluations. So I like Zillow and Redfin because everybody knows those. And I love that there's such a big gap of 451 to 403. And then I get to tell them what I think. We're both of these companies wrong, right? Most of the time. Some of the times they're right. So we will tell them if, you know, hey, Zillow is actually accurate this time. It's shocking. You know, so we'll go in then and we will create the email. So here's their email that I have uh, created for them. I'm going to, if you're utilizing Gmail, um, this is how we do it. Um, so you can't go in here and hit an attachment to attach the picture because then it'll put it as an actual attachment. And it'll just be, there'll be nothing there. We want to have it visual so they actually see it. So you have to go to this little insert photo right here and then go to upload, choose the picture we want to upload. So Mike and Emily. So I basically just take the screenshot of me doing the report in this one. I don't have to say, hey, Mike and Emily, they already know who I am, right? These are people that already know, like, and trust me, this is just providing extra value. Now I want, will want to send a, input the link in this picture because I tell them just tap on the picture and it'll open up for you. Thanks again for your business. So you highlight the picture and then you're gonna go down here into insert link. You'll go into their web video. Sorry, I have all these things here I can hardly see. <clears throat> you're good. So let me go find uh, their video. Slow as Christmas. Okay, here we go, content. And here's their video. So I'm just gonna go in here, get shareable link, go back into my email. Hopefully this isn't too remedial for you guys. Hit web address right here and do okay. So now when they click that picture, it's going to go to that link. It's going to go to their YouTube video. So if I click it, here it is. And it starts off. Now I'll let you guys watch this one. It's only two minutes long. Hi, Mike and Emily. This is Aaron Ken. I was just wanting to say happy five-year anniversary in your home. I can't believe it's been that long. Um, I know when we were looking, it was kind of a uh, crazy season in your life, moving here from another state, and we found the perfect home for you. Actually, an open door property. I'm sure you've done tons of work to it since then, but I wanted to send you this updated market evaluation of what your home is worth, where you are, where you sit with an equity position in your property, 
basically what is happening in your neighborhood is we've got uh, average square footage price of $231 a square foot. Average days on market is 38 days, which is actually trending down. If I went and compressed it to like two months, we'd be at like 11 days on market. So um, it's actually moving much faster than that now. Um, we did have that slow period because of interest rates. Uh, Zillow says your property is worth 451. Redfin says your property is worth 403. Um, all good news uh, when you purchased your property for 272.5 uh, back five years ago, uh, but those are both wrong. <laughs> In my estimation, what I did was I pulled up uh, properties here that are both pending and sold. I didn't include any properties that are on the market simply because those will constantly be changing. You only need to look at what your competition is uh, once you have the bug and are ready to sell. But um, as far as where your equity position lies, if I was to market your property right now, looking at the comps that are on the market, I would say you're probably in the 460 to 470 range, which puts a significant amount of equity in your pocket. You guys did very, very well when you purchased that home. Uh, and the market has definitely helped you over the last handful of years as you've increased in value by close to $200,000. So not too bad of an investment. And I just wanted to say thank you for trusting me back then and continuing to follow me. Um, this will be on my YouTube channel. So uh, if you could do me a huge favor, just like and subscribe to that. We provide a lot of good videos on updating homes and what the market's doing. We do a market report every single month. So you can kind of stay up to date with what's happening in the market and what you're doing with your home. I look forward to speaking with you here again soon. And I hope you get those cookies we sent out. Have a blessed day. And that's basically it. That's the anniversary video, two to three minute little video. Uh, actually, the home evaluation videos that we send clients that don't know us are actually longer simply because we're trying to sell a little bit more in those videos. This is just providing good information. You tell a little bit more about yourself and your business and how long you've yeah. been in and that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay. And oh, quick, Paul has a couple questions, Aaron, if you want to. Yeah, just oh, yeah. this and then we'll get to questions. Go ahead. And um, so in the, at the very end of that video, I talked about cookies. That's one thing that we start doing is every home anniversary of our clients, we sent, we have this uh, company around here called Tiff's Treats. I'm sure you can utilize anything. I don't know if you have Tiff's Treats there or wherever you are, but I'm sure there's a company that does something similar. Basically, we can send a dozen cookies um, to someone for like 15 bucks. So every year we send a dozen cookies on their home anniversary and tie it in with this email and video. So, um, and then we'll put something on the card like PS, uh, make sure to watch your YouTube video on your home market update. So if they haven't got it in their email or went into spam or something like that, they go search it. So, all right, I'll stop sharing and then uh, I can answer some questions and we'll go into the next game. Real quick, Tracy uh, was asking cookies from where you said Tiff Streets. I know send out cards, guys. That that's one that a lot of people use. You know, uh, they they do the same thing. You send out brownies or cookies, different things. Yeah. So. We used um, to they show up at their doorstep. Mm -hmm. Oh really? Yeah. So nice. it's awesome. Tiff Tiff T I F F. It was a -I -F -F. company that was created in Austin. I know they're in a few states, but I don't know exactly. Yeah. You have them delivered to your house too, Aaron. <laughs> so a um, couple questions here real quick. Uh, Paul, you want to mute yourself real quick? You can just ask, you were asking the name of the AVM search site. Is that right? Yeah. So you mentioned uh, this uh, AVM search site that uh, pulls like from seven different ones. Um, uh, what's the name of that? It's called Remine. R-E-M-I-N-E. R-E-M-I-N-E or just R-E-M-I-N-E? E-M-I-N-E. Okay. All right, got it. And then you said reverse the image. Um, yeah, I've noticed that, you know, if you're doing something on a phone and you write something that it does come out uh, are already reversed, how do you reverse it back? Um, yeah, so there's a setting in your phone. It looks like two like triangles facing each other. And you just click okay. that. Okay. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thanks, Paul. Jacob uh, is asking, do you get permission before you post to YouTube? You're exposing their home to general public. 
Go ahead, that. answer that. It's yeah. a private video or it's unlisted. So it just has their, they're the only ones that can see it or somebody with the link, right? So you guys will be able to see it, but don't turn me up to them. But anywho, uh, no, it's just, they're all private. That makes sense, Jacob. And you can do that in the settings when you're creating a video on there. One of the last things is, do you want it uh, public, private, or unlisted? And you just check the one that you want. You know, if it's private, then only people with the link can see it. They could send that link to like their family or friends or whatever if they wanted to. You know? Yeah, so I, I usually do them all as unlisted. So if they do want to share it, hey, look what my realtor sent me, then those people can ask, also open it with the link. Any other questions? Brian has a question uh, in the material last week. You showed purchasing a website for the prospect. Do you keep that site active and update it for things like this video, or do you let it go after they decide to list with you and become clients? Good question. Uh, I keep it for one year because that's my contractual term with GoDaddy. GoDaddy. Okay. So then I delete that um, after I just don't renew it. Um, this I do not have to because I want them actually to go to my YouTube site to subscribe to there. I want to try to build my YouTube channel. You know, it's in massive like 60 something followers now. So, you know, that's the one thing I am focused on on big time right now though, is actually doing videos consistently and building that channel up. So For sure. um, I want, this is something we just started tagging people into so that that could, we could get more followers. Gotcha. Cool. Keep going. Good stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to share my screen again. This is always dangerous. Okay. Sure. <laughs> so um, that's basically YouTube. Uh, the next uh, site that we utilize is called HomeBot. Um, if you haven't heard of HomeBot, you need to. HomeBot is awesome. It is the best thing that we utilize for consistent updates to both sellers and buyers. And this is like when I log into HomeBot, I think HomeBot, it's super cheap too. So most of the stuff I'm gonna show you today is pretty much free because I'm like a budget person. I know everybody in here is, you know? So this is, I think 50 bucks a month for 500 clients on here. And then it's $5 a month for every 250 after that or something like that. Don't quote me exactly on the price, but I know it's pretty close to that. Why HomeBot is so good is it sends updates and I'll show you what it sends to people here. But one of the things I want you to see is uh, in the last 30 days, automatically, this has sent out 781 home reports to my clients. So basically anybody that ever comes in asking about their home value or they say they're a seller or indicate that they're a seller, they go into HomeBot. My VA every day pulls these out, puts them in, right? There's no, unfortunately, there's no Zapier quick add link or API or anything like that. So you have to manually enter them, but who cares? So it takes five minutes. So you go in, I have 781. Out of those sends, 513 open. That's a 65% open rate. Remember, these are going to past clients, yes, but also cold leads. 65% is ridiculous. Like Huge. I remember doing email marketing back in the day through my CRMs and stuff. And we were begging and trying to get eight to 10% open rate. 80 or 65% is ridiculous. 51% on the buyer side, crazy. So, and here's some of the stuff. Now, if I'm showing you this and you're in my market and there's a phone number there and you call them, I will hunt you down and meet you. But anyways, um, if we go in here, here's uh, Teresa Shaw. So she's explored market temperature. She tuned her value, meaning she thinks her home's worth more or less than what HomeBot said. I'll show you here in just a minute. She messaged me, hey, I'm looking at instant offer interest or what my value is. So I have a listing appointment with her tomorrow, right? So when I get that, I get a text on my phone. I get an email. Anytime somebody plays with their values, because that's a opportunity for me to do what? Reach out with a phone call first, and then I'm gonna create a video for her, right? If I can't get her on the phone. So if we go into Teresa, we'll play with her information. Again, here's her info. You're in my market, don't call her. Anyways, it'll tell you um, about her. This is my view, right? 
So she has a three two 1800 square feet. Here's her loan. This is pulled right off of tax records. And they estimate her value at 326 and 236,000 in equity. Would this be somebody you'd be willing to talk to and list their property? Absolutely, right? So if I preview the digest, hopefully this works. This is what she sees, okay? So she gets this. So every month this gets sent out. There's actually two emails that go out. There's a, um, a home report that's specific to their home. And there's a report that's specific to their market. So here's the estimated home value. This is where they can tune it, meaning they can make adjustments. You can see right here, she tuned it right here. That's why this little wrench, right? If I click this, this is her mortgage, her current balance, if she's still in this. And she can go, yes, no, or I had another mortgage, right? So it says 76177's in, in demand. She can click this and see all about uh, that zip code and what's happening. I won't click that just for the sake of, I don't know where it's gonna take me and if things will screw up. So I'm just gonna stay here for right now and then we'll do it after. Um, so it says that here's your net worth of your home. If you sold it right now, what could you do with that money? You could refi it and save. You might have a, up to 489,000 in purchasing power for a new home. Um, you could use 100K of that and do what you need to do, right? So here's if you actually did some extra stuff like paid off towards principal, um, you know, things like that. So um, I am partnered with a lender. So the lender pays for half of this every single month because I'm marketing them and I'll show you that in a second. Um, so if they paid 100 extra more each month, you could save 9,600 bucks. Let's say you were good and you could do 300. Oh, you'd save 20,000 off the interest payments and you pay your home off six years earlier. All this is stuff that people want to know, right? And then um, if you bought a new home, here's what you could afford. If you bought an investment property, you rent your home and buy another one. Sell and pocket the cash, you had 213. So it's, this is all done automatically. I don't have to do anything. Here's some things you could utilize that money for. Here's the lender. So we have people in there are like, hey, you know, what if I refinanced or what if I did a cash out refi, things like that. He gets those leads, right? I get them too. Another reason to give them a call. Uh, if you rented your home on Airbnb, how much could you potentially earn? And it tells them, you know, nightly rates, how much a month they could get. So let's say, oh, I could rent it out for 1500. I'd make 1800 a month, which, is wrong. This is the one thing that is wrong. They're always undershooting. Um, but I just did an awesome 27 minute video on Airbnb on my YouTube channel. So check it out. Uh, and then um, they can share this with other people. I've had people add extra addresses. Here's information about me and that's about it. So I can also go up in here and see what 76177 is doing. And they can play this and say, oh, I want an instant offer for my home. So that's what she selected, right? So she came in saying, hey, I want an offer. I don't want to go to the market. I just want you to make me an offer. Well, I'm going to come show her what the difference of me making her an offer, which is going to be 20 to 30% under market, and what her selling at market is, right? So which one do you want to do? And it tells them, oh, there's 41 homes in your market that are selling around 84 days. Here's the averages in 76177. Here are some of the homes for sale nearby. Awesome, right? So very, very powerful. Uh, definitely something that you wanna do um, for 50 bucks. I mean, it's a absolute no brainer. Aaron, how do you use it for buyers? And you, you said, what do you do? Like, like a buyer lead comes in, what? Let me go back to- What does it do? What does it do for buyers? I'll show you. It's, it basically has my IDX tied into it, just like my sure. uh, KD core or anything else, right? So, but I'll show you here. So buyer, so you can see homeowners, we have 1,682. Buyers, we have 1,394 of them. Um, it's still opening. And a lot of these are sellers as well, right? So she's looking in 76262. So here's what it sends them a buyer report. So I can go preview the report. 
see what it sent them. So here's your price. Here's the market temperature in the area you're looking, right? Um, find areas you're thinking about, so on and so forth. And then it'll also give her properties too if she goes and starts exploring the markets in here. So. And you're getting alerted every time somebody's doing anything in here in terms of exactly. extra email or something. So you know how to, now, now you, it gives you a reason to call them. Yeah, so you can see she's in here quite a bit. Yeah. Right? And I can also, let's say, uh, I tune their value or whatever, I can send the report, you know, and send them a new report. Hey, check out the YouTube video I just did for you on this. This is why I think the price is here. Nice. Any questions on this one? There's no way I'm going to get through all of this, Jeff. Just tell me. Well, we might add a fourth part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Any questions on this, guys? Homebot? Um, Paul, you mentioned that your lender pays. Yep. I, we do the same thing. We have a lender that splits it with us. Um, let's see. Just an off question here. Andy asks, is there a special camera you use? You know, thing, I think going back to your YouTube stuff from before or just your phone or your computer camera. So when I'm using, when I'm doing the videos, because it's got me in the corner and then all the report, I'm using just a webcam. I have a Logitech uh, Brio, I think it's called. Yeah. Like Fox. Um, shoots pretty good video. Um, and then for every other video, I utilize this. So usually I use the backward facing camera, not the forward facing camera. Uh, it's just a little bit better. So that's what I shoot all my videos with. I don't have any fancy equipment. I do have a light, a couple lights and a green screen behind me if I do want to do a, a fully edit, editable video. Aaron, cool. did you say home bot, H-O-M-E-B-O-T? Yep, home bot. So it's, um, I think it's homebot.ai or no, homebot. Anybody help me there? I know if you could go to homebot.com, it's like some hardware store or something. So uh, homebot app, app.com. Cool. Just do a Google search, find it. Yeah. So, cool. Let's keep Anything going. Nope. Good. So that's that's something we utilize to create a lot of listing opportunities, keep people in touch with their market, what's happening with their house. And then of course we tag that in with video. Um, next thing is um, Google your business page. So you can see how do you create a Google business page? This is what you want to do because I can't create another one because I already have one for my email address. So Go to Google, do create a Google My Business account. That's what you want. So you're just gonna click Google Business Profile, get listed on Google, follow the steps. It's super simple. Once you've created it, you then wanna maximize this profile. This is something that we've done and has been very, very good for our business. Um, I think last year I sold 14 homes from Google alone, no marketing, free, 14 homes just feed it data, right? So um, one of the things that I can tell you that helps maximize your site, have your picture as the front picture, as the main picture. And we'll go through this in just a second, but um, always be, I'm gonna go through page at a time because it, there are some important things on here. Reviews are the most important thing. We have 120. We, I want like a thousand. I know that when I clicked over from having 90 reviews to a hundred reviews, our calls went up immensely. I mean, we got a lot more calls, a lot more emails. Once we clicked that hundred review thing. Now you may be thinking, I don't have a hundred people I know, or I've sold homes to. You may not have. Heck, half the people I don't know, um, you know, they don't respond to this. Like I would probably send this to every buyer and every seller that we've ever done business with. And I only have 120. But the cool thing about Google is it's not Zillow. And Zillow requires you to actually have bought or sold a home with you in order for them to give you a review. Google does not. So every one of you on this call could go into my Google page and give me a five-star review and it'd give me more reviews, right? 
but you would say something like this. Hey, if I was ever moving to Dallas, Fort Worth, I would definitely call her and Ken, he's the best in the business as far as real estate and marketing go. Hint, hint, you could give me a five star. No. Um, so this is the way that you can build your business. Think about it. You could go into your Facebook group. Every friend that you have, send them a message. Hey, I'm trying to build my business page on Google. I'm a little behind the eight ball. Could you give me a five-star review? I'll, give you, I'll send you a $5 gift card to Starbucks. I'll buy your next coffee, whatever, right? So you bribe them for a review. This can be friends, family, contractors, buyers, sellers, anybody that knows you and knows of you that will give you a five-star review. It is important for it to be five stars. Okay. The other thing is once we went over a hundred reviews, those four star reviews, like we had a couple that gave us five for things and then four for something, right? So it doesn't come out as five. It comes out like 4.7. Well, Google's like, ah, we'll throw that one out. It's still there, but it didn't hurt. doesn't impact my rating, right? So it stays at five stars. Very, very important. So service options, we do online appointments and in person, areas served, hours open, 24. You must do 24 hours. And this is something that stinks, but they keep track of every person that calls you through Google, like when they hit the phone to call. And if you don't answer, they have a rating for you if you're going to answer or not. And that depends on how much you show up or not. So there's a lot of spam calls that I answer because I don't want to have a bad rating of me because they gave me 14 closings at, I think it was like 190 something thousand dollars in commissions for free, right? So I will answer the, I will answer all those spam calls for that amount of money. I also put on here my Calendly so they can book direct. I've had several people that just book and I'm like, who the heck is this person? And then I realized they came from Google. Products are your listings, all right? Or any kind of booklets or things that you have on local cities. So these are products. Um, when we sell the listing, we leave it as just sold for a little bit and we take it off. And then we go down questions and answers. So get your family to ask you questions about real estate and then answer them. Because again, this just helps the algorithm. It helps you stand out. People that don't have this filled out get less, less uh, people sent to their site. Google is big brother. Google owns YouTube. So guess what they like? Video. So add your videos to your YouTube or to your Google channel as well, right? The more stuff you can add, the better. I will add one other thing. You want to try to get over 100 photos on your Google My Business page. The reason you want over a hundred photos is that's when Google's like, this is an advanced business. You can see my profile strength looks good. It's green, you know, they like it. When you don't have those things, it's gonna be yellow or red, right? A couple other things, if I go to edit my profile in your description, you wanna use all the characters that they give you. Even if you have to like think of stuff, if you can't think of stuff, Go into chat GPT and ask to get to give you a description about your business. It'll, I need a 500 word description about my business, but I'm an expert in real estate and it'll spit out 500 words. Um, opening date, that's when I started real estate. It'll give you 20 areas to service. So I pick 20 of the areas that are closest to me or areas that I want included. There's some areas that aren't covered in this, but they overlap. So for instance, there's a, town called Watauga here. It's in between Keller and Fort Worth. Well, because I have Keller and Fort Worth on this, it automatically includes Watauga, it just gets sucked in there, right? So I still get leads from there as well too and show up. Then you could add all this other stuff if you want, it's not necessary. Um, Always answer your phone, always respond to things very, very fast. They will give you an app to download as well too. Um, it, but it's super simple. I created a site that's super easy. That's the one I showed you guys the other day, uh, last training um, for our clients to get there. It's just reviewthekinteam.com. So that's what I give everybody. So they click that, the review box automatically pops up, right? So it's easy for them to submit a review. The one downfall of Google 
uh, as far as the reviews go, is you have to have a Gmail account in order to leave a review. That is the one issue. Any questions on this? I know I flew through it, but. That's awesome. 14 closings last year yeah. from Google. Google. And not paid Google, not pay-per-click, uh, not, um, what's the other one? It's like if you search your name, there's three agents pop up. I'm, I have that as well, too. I only had one closing from that. And hey, I, Aaron, what, what is that site that gives you the 500-word description? Chat GPT. It's all the rage. Go on TikTok. It's like 90% of the videos. Everybody's talking about chat GPT. <laughs> so it's AI. But yeah. it will replace a lot of copywriters, things like that. I help it to help me write listing descriptions. It's awesome. So Elon Musk is scared of it. Right now. I'm scared of it. Yeah, let's, let's not go down the rabbit hole here real quick. Delisa asked, as we could, um, did you request Google reviews from past clients all at once? I've heard Google flags or restricts them if they come in all at once. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you have to have like over 10 reviews in a day where it'll start being like, okay, something's going on here. Okay. So, it, and let me ask you, Aaron, they don't actually have to write out a review, right? I mean, they could just give you five stars and hit submit. That's it. But you do want, here's a couple over the top tips, but in your Google reviews, if you go into the reviews, you want to respond to every review. If they are a client, you want to teach them how to write the review, simply for the fact that you want to target those cities. So like, for instance, Connor here has like an awesome review, but he didn't include where I helped him buy and where I helped him sell. Google likes that. So in my response, I've enjoyed all three times working with you now, a couple times in Hearst, and now your dream home in Fort Worth. Your family is quite honestly the sweetest. I'm glad I can call you clients but friends, right? Super simple, but two indicators in there, Hearst and Fort Worth. So now when people are searching realtors in Fort Worth, this review could pop up in that search. Very, very important to do, right? Hey, look, somebody reviewed me on that one to one. Sweet. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> um, so it is it is by far the best thing to do, especially it's free. It is a little tedious to get it up and running, but you just want to feed it. So if you do blogs, feed your blog into here. If you take pictures of homes, put that in there. If you do videos of homes, little shorts, YouTube things, do them and throw them in here as well too. Everything you put in there, the better it will perform. <clears throat> Any other questions on this? DNA, Jeff? Um, Andy just asked real quick, uh, so it helps through SEO. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah builds your SEO in through Google when you're doing all of this on your Google My Business page. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Yep. Keep going. Uh, Next. I did, uh, somebody put in here, get in the reviews, like pulling teeth. I did bribe some clients. I'm like, when I first started, I had zero. I was like, I need to get to like 50 now. So I went to all my clients and I'm like, hey, if I buy you a cup of coffee, would you do me just a quick favor? It takes like two minutes. I'm like, yeah, what is it? And I sent them the Google review sheet. Hey, just review me on the services we provided or anything about your home would be awesome or where you live even better, but you know. And then I just send them an e-gift card from Starbucks, super simple. All right, next, uh, this is a free site to get the leads, but it, you pay a 25% referral fee on everything. For me, I was always taught that you wanted to invest in marketing the same you would pay somebody else for a referral fee, so 25%. Now, I don't spend 25% on marketing, but I'd gladly spend 25% for a referral right, fee. So if you sent me Luminita here, and she wanted to buy a $600,000 home, I'd gladly send you 25% to earn that commission. Well, Fast Expert does this for you. Now you do have to have uh, some uh, real estate experience, some sales history, because they are gonna go off of your past success and because they wanna market you as an expert in the area, right? Uh, 
but you can see I have 497 leads through here. Now, some of these leads are awful. Some of these leads are great. We close anywhere from five to seven of these every single year, right? And the main part of it is just being on top of them. Like, okay, what is this row? You can tell that's an awful lead. I don't know where he is, but maybe his phone number works, right? So I'm going to continually call these people. Some people are super right on top of it. Some, we just converted one that uh, we signed a buyer rep agreement yesterday. Uh, she's been on Fast Expert for 19 months. So, but she's in our drip program. She just gets stuff. I didn't even know who she was when she came in. Like, hey, I need to talk. I think I'm ready to buy a house. Who are you? So I had to find out that she even came from Fast Expert, but she did. So this is both buyers and sellers, like I said, free. Other services that do this are like Homelight, um, Ojo. I just use this one because not a lot of people have heard of Fast Expert. A lot of people have heard of Homelight. Um, OpCity. OpCity charges too big a fee. I won't work with them. I don't really want to pay more than 25%. Yeah. Does this cost money to get signed up with and to join or is it, no, it's just free, but then the 25% referral fee. Yeah, they do have a service on there where you can spend like 400 bucks to like boost your profile. Garbage, doesn't give you anything extra. It's nice $400 for them though. Yeah. Um, do you take time, these people, Aaron, do you take these and put them into your CRM and that's I how you drip on them? One of these, you can see they get mad at me because they say, oh, you haven't posted an update. You haven't posted an update. Look at all these no updates. Well, they all go into my CRM. I have Zapier set up on this. So when I get one, it sends it out and pops it right into my CRM, right? Um, and then we take that and we manually put it into HomeBot. That's what we're feeding into all those sites. Same thing on the next one, ZBuyer. Oh, making me log in again, hold on just a second. Now ZBuyer is awesome. I've actually bought homes and flipped them off of Z Buyer and rehab some and just wholesaled some. And I've actually helped buyers and sellers off of Z Buyer. It, it's an awesome site. Now, this one does cost money. I think I pay like $300 a month for these. I get about 30 to 40 leads a month. Most of these people, not most, let's say half of these people are in distress. They need to sell now, want to sell now. And they'll tell you. All right, so let's go into Shirley. Here's our information. Oh, it's opening up our Google Maps, sorry. Um, so here's Shirley. Uh, it says, you know, she, this is her size of house. Uh, here's the automated valuation that they say. The reason she's selling is she's relocating. So the homeowner responded to get a cash offer advertisement. Now, almost all of, the, all of them say this. Yet when you ask them about their cash offer, or if you, they need a cash offer, they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. They get defensive about this because it means, oh, I'm in trouble or I, you know, my house is a piece of garbage. So I never lead with getting a cash offer. I lead with a home evaluation. Hey, you know, like I, I'll make a phone call. It. Hey, Shirley, it's there in Ken. I got your information off of uh, the website. You re requested a home evaluation. In order for me to do a better job and give you a more accurate assessment, um, can you tell me a little bit about your home? They tell you about your home. Oh, even better yet, I'm actually going to be in your neighborhood. I didn't realize you were in XYZ neighborhood. Yes, I did. But I didn't realize that you were in XYZ neighborhood. I'm actually going to be there tomorrow. Would you be around maybe about at like two or four o'clock? I can just swing by and take a quick peek. And that's how I get in the door and I can do a listing presentation for them because they they told me everything about them i can see the house on google maps where it's located awesome if i can't get them on the phone so i usually wait like a full day maybe two i'm texting them calling them what have you if i can't get them i then do the video on youtube pop that out that's z buyer Another service that, or another thing that you could utilize, like I said, Jeff, I'm not even through all of how we get appointments, but anyway. You're good, You're good. we'll figure <laughs> the it out. Thing, the, the next thing uh, that you could utilize, 
I don't do this because I'm not a cold caller anymore. I used to cold call expireds and things like that. I just don't do it. I don't have time for it. I don't like it, so I don't do it. But um, the best ones, if you're calling expireds, don't call the new expireds. Those are garbage leads. Why? Because everybody calls those. And by about the fifth one, they're cussing at you, right? So what I would do is call the expireds from six to 24 months ago. They probably have equity. Back then they'd probably sell them too high, like two years ago. Like they wanted 600 for their 500 house. Well, now their home's worth 600 and they maybe not, don't know it. And no one's contacting them now, right? Because no one contacts old leads because they're old leads. Those are the best leads or the old leads, honestly. If I was only to get any kind of leads, I go at any of your databases and work only leads from 12 to 24 months ago, and I will mop the floor with any of you guys on your new leads, because you're just lead squirrels. You're just gathering leads just to have leads, even though they don't do anything for you, right? People are just testing waters, things like that. Um, National Association of Realtors puts out a report every single year says the average buyer lead takes 274 days to transact business. The average seller lead, 412. Which leads do you want? The new ones or the ones that no one's calling in, right? That's all I got, Jeff. I will stop my share. Oh, the sites you can utilize to, to work expired? Red X, it's called theredx.com. Vulcan 7, heard good things about that, never used it, and Land Voice. They also provide things like, if you're just a major cold caller, you, they give you for sale by owners, they give you uh, expireds, they give you circle dialing so you can pull a neighborhood and you can call around your listings, things like that. Cool. So I got about seven minutes or so to answer. Good. What questions do you guys have? A lot of good stuff, okay, a lot of ideas. What questions, comments? Thoughts? Anybody? Um, here, we're getting the questions in the chat. You can unmute yourself, guys, if you want, or just raise your hand, too. Um, Brian was asking, do you discuss the iBuyer program with people that have indicated they want cash offers? Yes. I am I am iBuyer certified with EXP, so that's one of them. But I also buy some. So I want to discuss my offer first before I can give the property away to somebody else. Like, bit. bit is a three hundred thousand dollar house, and they're willing to sell it to me for one eighty. I'll wholesale it out, or I might buy it and flip it. Um, somebody was asking, what CRM do you use? Uh, I use Commission Zinc. I am switching to KB Core, but the switch is slow, so it may take me a while. But oh, I've nice. used Commission Zinc for ten plus years. Um, I just don't need those leads as much anymore. And it's a pretty hefty program fee, platform fee. For sure. And Amy, uh, Land Voice was what he was talking about. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, where can I get a second listen? Uh, this video will be up probably within the next, uh, well, a couple hours. Yeah. I'm gonna send it over to you, Aaron. You can put your, do your stuff to it. When, how long did it take you to get that back last time? I think you had it back to me the same day. Yeah. Or, Sometime later today, definitely by tomorrow, guys, this video will be available on the Freedom Team Workplace Group, on the Freedom Team YouTube page. It'll be on Aaron's YouTube page. It'll be on my YouTube page as well. So you can find it anywhere out there. I have two YouTube pages. I have one that's for like agent training and attraction. Um, and then I have the one I've been showing you guys today. That's all for clients and uh, more market stuff for buyers and sellers. One thing, guys, that I would highly recommend is doing that uh, the the video CMA. It's something once you once you get in the groove of doing it, you do a few of them, and it really it's, it's something like you said. You could do it, and you just pull up their info. All you're doing is just looking at the screen, and you're just giving them the info right out there off the screen. You know, sharing that screen with them, and you put together a four to five minute video. And other than just doing the search on their home and comps, which you can do in you know a couple minutes, whatever, with your MLS. And just share that screen, you know, and you can do this with Zoom. You can record a Zoom, you know, you're still going to show up there on the screen. You can do Loom, you can do Bomb Bomb, different ways to do it. The advantage of the Bomb Bomb, I'm not sure about Loom, but you can see if they open the video, 
you know, yeah. when they watched it, how much they watched, whatever. That's one advantage there. Um, so Bomb Bomb, I, I used to use Bomb Bomb, and it was awesome because you would see, and then you would see, like, three months later, somebody opened it again, which is cool. I use a tracking software. I can't remember the name of it. In my emails. So every email has tracking software in the back of it. Um, so I can see when everybody sees my emails anyways. So I didn't need that feature. Um, so I get the same thing. I get a report every single day who opened all my emails. Well, if I get one in there that was from six, an email sent six months ago, I know exactly what it, what it is. I do it now to YouTube because I want to grow that YouTube channel and it's local people. And that's all that's on there is local information. But you do that, you know, I mean, again, take, do one, a, start with one a day, just do one a day. You, you might build up to two or three a day. And That's it really would, it would probably take you 30 minutes. I mean, you, you're, you're done. Yeah, done do with that list. for the day. Do a list just like, you know, they train you to do for agent attraction, your top hundred list, right? So do a list of all your friends, family, neighborhood, uh, sons, daughters, sports teams, parents that you know, that know you and you have their email address and, if you don't, it's a good reason to talk to them. Hey, I wanted to put together a quick little video about your home value, you know, shoot me your email address. You know, it's super simple and it's, you're doing something for free for them. No, you know, no strings attached to it. And you can see in that video, I didn't say anything about selling or listing their house or, you know, I didn't mention any of that. It's not a sales video. It's just, hey, here's the information. I hope it helps you. Quick update on your house. Yeah, and like I said, most of you have a, a database of 100, 200, 300 people. Let's say your database is 300. That's one a day. Pretty simple. You get through your whole database in a year. Start over. Aaron. <clears throat> go, go ahead, Patricia. Hi, Aaron. This is Patricia Ann. So I'm in a new state, new market, no clients. So I'm calling the pre-foreclosure list right now uh, through RedX. And... Would you send them, once I make contact, would you send them the video or should I try to get in the house first? Uh, Pre-foreclosure is a little different. They're definitely more touchy. I did REO for five years and short sales. Oh my gosh. I hope to never have to do those again. Um, I kind of enjoyed them and they're out there now. <laughs> they're out there now. And because of the wonderful training that we had a couple of weeks ago, yeah. Right. On short sales, I'm, that's a way to get my sign in the yard. Oh, that's perfect. Absolutely. Uh, yes, I, I wouldn't, if I set the appointment up, I would do the pre-video from last week uh, that we talked about last week. So if you haven't found that, go watch that. And that's how to pre-sell yourself before you even get in. That would be very strong. I don't want to send them a video on their market and try to pinpoint a price. You'll see when I send those links out, Jeff. Um, when you click, it was a six minute video. So I didn't want you guys sitting here for six minutes, but, um, in that one, I give them a, a range and it's much more substantial, like 425 to 475. Cause I haven't been in your home. I don't know if you've done any updates on condition. I just know your home and where it is and what the tax records are telling me. So I'm going to do my best generalization of what your home's worth. Thank you. Can I say something, Jeff? Or? Yeah, Jacob, go ahead. I, I just got to say thank you, Aaron. I mean, this is freaking incredible. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I've been walking in mud. <laughs> I'm going to listen to this four or five times, buddy. God bless you for sharing, really. Last week, too. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, Jacob. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff here, guys. And again, so much of it doesn't cost anything or very little. I mean, HomeBot's so cheap and it's such a great tool. We use it. Um, we need to enhance it. That Google page. Um, you know, I, I mean, I'm watching this, we have a page, but I need to go in there today, tomorrow, and there's a lot I need to do to it. And I can see that. And we need to get up to hundred reviews. We, we got about 50. We just, and I haven't gone for it. You know, we've, we've done it in spurts. I just need to get it done. Cause I know, we, I remember you telling me that how, when you hit hundred, it just exploded for you. Yeah. And I know that every time this is kind of pairs in with what Delisa asked if they'll ban you or what have you. Um, I haven't ever had them ban me or not allow me to have posts on there but i have when they when i've gotten two or three or four reviews in succession whether it's over a day or two or in the same day 
my phone always rings that day or the next day. So it's like they push that site because it's active, right? So that's why you want to keep feeding it, whether it's photos or video or blog posts or reviews. The more you feed it, the more they push it. Very cool. Good deal. Well, guys, it's just right after 10, so we're going to wrap this up. Um, we appreciate you being here. Part three next week, same time, um, same Zoom link, everything. Um, you know, We'll see if we need to carry this on. Uh, whatever. Aaron, you and I will talk, but I, I appreciate you doing this. I know you're busy, You know, whatever, so taking time out of your day to, to pour into everybody. So it's just part of what we do here, Freedom Team, EXP, everybody giving back. So Appreciate it, guys. Have a great uh, day. Have a great week. Watch for the recording. If you have other questions, you can always comment on the post, that kind of stuff. Aaron and myself will definitely get back to you. Um, have a great rest of your week. We'll see you uh, next Wednesday. Okay? Bye-bye. Thanks, Aaron.